Hi everybody, it's Miss Reynolds for our Read Aloud, and this week we are going to read non-fiction stories. And remember, non-fiction stories are stories that are real, and they're about real events that actually happened. And today's story is going to be about tornadoes, because it's almost tornado season, so I thought it'd be a good idea to learn, and I know one of our students really likes tornadoes. So this book is called Tornadoes by Andrea Rivera. Tornadoes are strong spinning winds. They suck up everything in their path. Tornadoes form in thunder clouds. Wind makes air in the cloud spin. This forms a funnel cloud. The funnel gets longer and if it touches the ground, it's a tornado. So this cloud over here, it's just a funnel cloud. It hasn't quite touched the ground yet, but when it does, it'll be called a tornado. Doppler radar tracks storms. It helps scientists predict tornadoes. So the weatherman, he uses information from this to help us know where a tornado might happen. Computers use radar to make pictures of storms. So see, that's what the weatherman looks like, and that's what we see on TV sometimes when our parents watch the weather. Scientists look for fish hook shapes in the pictures. This shows where the tornado might form. So right here, this is the fish hook shape that shows them where the tornado might come from. Engineering. Storm shelters keep people safe during tornadoes. These shelters are underground. Their walls are thick. There are no windows. This helps protect people from debris. And debris is stuff that kind of flies around when the wind is super strong, like maybe it's some branches or some wood. Art. Troy Cox is an artist. A tornado hit his hometown and it damaged many houses. Cox used the debris, so all this stuff laying down on the ground right here, this is the debris. He used it to make art. He sold the art and then he used the money to help rebuild. Math. The EF scale rates a tornado strength. EF zeros are the weakest. Their wind goes from 65 to 85 miles per hour, which is still pretty fast. And EF fives are the strongest. Their wind is much faster. It goes more than 200 miles per hour. It's kind of crazy. A tornado usually lasts about 10 minutes. Most tornadoes are about 1,600 feet wide, and some are more than one mile wide, which is really big. Most tornadoes have winds that go 100 miles per hour. The fastest tornado that has ever been measured had winds of 318 miles per hour. That's kind of crazy. And here's the glossary, so I'm gonna read these definitions for you, okay? So debris, are pieces left behind by something that is broken, so the tornado breaks up all these houses and leaves debris behind. A Doppler radar, a tool used to track storms and predict the weather. A funnel cloud, a cone-shaped cloud that sticks out from the bottom of a thunder cloud. Predict, to guess what ha might happen in the future. And thunder cloud, a huge dark cloud that can cause storms. So I hope you enjoyed our read aloud. And since it is tornado season, I'm gonna challenge you guys to ask your parents what you would do at your house if a tornado happened. Find out where you would go and what you, did, what you would do to be safe. And I hope you have a great day.